All right, welcome to the Milo Exploring Channel. Today we are at Bellevue Botanical Garden. The visitor center is right here. We're gonna go through the gate and we're gonna be inside. Let's go. That's pretty cool. Huh. So I guess there's a little shop that's closed right now. We have some plants, some bathrooms. Where's the actual park? Oh, over here. Okay, a rock garden, that's pretty cool. So yeah, there's like a bunch of rocks and then they put kind of some plants that would flourish maybe in somewhere with not so much dirt. Maybe that's the point of a rock garden. Kind of to use less water maybe. Kind of reminds me of like when you go to Mount Rainier and you go to the top or something. So here we go, we got a perennial border, a ravine experience, spring courtyard, and water wise garden. So here's the Sharp Cabin. For over a hundred years, families have lived and worked in this cabin, originally built by James Sharp on this farmland. It's actually extremely small. Looks like they sometimes open it up for people to look, but not right now. So there's like one way to go up, two, and then there's thrice. Three ways to go. Check these out. Look at the spot with all these rocks stacked. That's pretty cool. You usually see that by like, uh, I don't know, like by uh, rivers and streams people do that. Whoa. I like all the purple they have here. Pretty cool. Is that a duck? Or a oh, that's a frog. Oh, I see him. He's doing a mating call, I think. Keep going, dude. There he is. Hey, buddy. You looking for a mate? All right, man, good luck. So the park doesn't have any placards or anything that tell you exactly what you're looking at. They have these little spots where you tap your phone, you download an app, I believe, or something, or scan the QR code. Uh, I don't really like that, because then you have to be like on your phone all the time and playing with that, and I think it kind of takes away from the experience, but besides that, I really like the garden. It's pretty nice. So yeah, there's one of those little things I was telling you about. It says tap for scan, so you can do both. But, yeah, I think they should just put little tags on things. Whoa. Whoa, that's cool. Pretty. It goes down. Oh, it's for, you train for Cobra Kai? Oh, look at that. Oh, right. That would be Miyagi-Do, not Cobra Kai. You're right. Whoa, this is neat. It's a viewing pavilion. Whoa, look at this. That's neat. Jeez, how'd they do that? Oh, the, the water thing is just up there. Look at that. How'd they do that? Wow, look, it's just balancing on the log just next to the, the building here. Oh wow, this spot's pretty. They have some cranes. Look. Whoa. That's pretty. Wow. That's a nice spot and they have some, some hair in there. Oh neat, look, this water must go to the beginning. Uh, when you enter, there's like a waterfall. Oh, look at that. And the water must trickle through here. And then it goes all the way to that waterfall that we saw at the beginning. There's a little frog. Look, you see the water moving. Woo! And then it becomes the waterfall. I really like that. It's cool. Check it out. Whee! Let's 
looking pretty nice out here. Colors starting to pop. All right, check this out. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you guys know this, but the Hobbit lives here. Look, it's a little Hobbit door. Sir, I'd like to borrow some uh, sugar, please. If you have any sugar, no. Okay, bye. Ready? Do 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 do. Doing some maintenance work. They have a lot of, have a lot of things here. Azaleas, rhododendrons, plants I don't know. There we go. Owl's Glare by David Moritz. That's neat. Wow, and it's cool they have it over here. By kind of like the woodsy section. Oh, neat. And it's got a bunch of like walking trails out here. Do 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 Whoa, look at that bridge. The ravine experience. Take a walk on the wild side. Do 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 Oh, is it bounce is it bouncy? Whoa. like a suspension bridge. Look at that. It does kind of bounce quite a bit. It's pretty cool. There's a little stream down there. Look at that. Woo wee! It's pretty long. It's pretty cool. Uh oh, what's going on? Is the wood cracked? Hmm. What is this, like a little, it's like a little house. Oh, it says welcome. Oh, it's another, it's another little fairy house or, yeah, that one's probably a fairy. Oh my gosh, is that a baby bunny? Baby bunny, baby bunny. Oh, uh, here we go. We have some old ruins here. Could this have been where the historical house was located? And they relocated it to the front of the park? Because it looks about the size of that house. Night blooming, it's a piece of art. It's a catenary dome constructed using lumber. That's neat. Let's go look, in, uh, let's go look inside, I guess, huh? Let's see. Hello. Oh, it's like a bunch of little stars. Whoa, this thing's cool. Wow. Let's see without the light. Oh, that's neat. If you guys come here, make sure you don't miss this. It's pretty cool. It's kind of located towards the back, I believe. Actually, I don't know where I'm at, but look for this on any maps, because it's pretty cool. Go oh, check out this piece of art. That's pretty cool. Wow. A lot of cool art on this trail. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. I enjoyed this one. I really like this garden. Um, man, the lighting's getting real cool. And they have a ton of cool art. Make sure you walk all the trails and look all around and just keep your eye open, eyes open. A lot of cool stuff here. So yeah, guys, if you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all my new videos. And from the city of Bellevue, I'll see you guys next time on the Emilio Exploring Channel. Goodbye. There's the, uh, there's where the water goes from that middle section. Pretty neat. Oh look, it quit moving.
thing was going sizzler earlier. 